In Cyberpunk 2077, the player had the choice of obtaining the Gorilla Arms within the game, as an optional choice to add to their arsenal of weapons during the playthrough experience, as the Gorilla Arms were literally depicted on supposed to be used as a primate's arms, as some considered it to be an innovative sort of weapon for the player to use as an alternative to guns. Others thought that it was perhaps useless, but the speculative scenario is this. Could these weapons be actually used in real life outside of the game's concepts? In game, there were much practicalities of the gorilla arms. Also from the lore, there were a decent amount of examples of men or women using gorilla arms as a choice for cybernetic augmentation within the human body. When compared to the Mantis Blades, people who use gorilla arms seem to prefer physical strength when in comparison to the Mantis Blade augmentation or technical slash smart links that implants could give gun wielders within the game. From a combination of speculation, law, on common sense, theories mention that the gorilla arms originally came out of more of a need or desire for a construction or labor-based use. When the needs of transportation or manufacturing demanded something more than a basic level of human strength or endurance, but not exactly full cybernetic implementations or implants are seen in some other forms of fiction. Such examples of augmentation had origins in other fields of labor, but eventually became more practical for other types of uses. As during the Beat on the Brat submissions, it was mentioned that due to the acceptance of guerrilla arms, in combat or military means, such enhancements were completely allowed within professional boxing-based competitions within the new United States. Further speculations had about the gorilla arms to be safely implanted and used for the wielder, it couldn't be just within the arms of the user. Non-player character models often showed men on women with gorilla arms having modified chest, upper back, or even neck areas. It was speculated that the modified areas were there in part for when the gorilla arms increased in mass to help compensate for the extra muscle mass or energy needed to safely or correctly use the gorilla arms. As the average diameter or length or even thickness of a man or woman's arms might vary, as it's theorized that in order for gorilla arms to be used, it might also have to take into consideration the physical attributes of the person who might want or need the implants for whatever reason. Much like the Mantis blades, the gorilla arms were viewed as an expensive implant procedure, and despite it being accepted in different forms of societies within Night City, it's not normally done for residents of the city, and as a result would be impractical for real-life implementations of the various citizens of Night City.